Hi guys, and welcome back to Fox House Creations, where today we're going to make a towel rack. And then <clears throat> we're going to need some cardboard and somewhat, I don't know if that's a very good image there, but kind of thick. Not super thick, but this is just chipboard from, I don't know, a package of some kind. So we're going to make the towel rack using the template. Cut a rack piece from 1 8 inch pine, but I'm not doing that. We're doing this with cardboard. And cut five half inch lengths of kebab stick at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to need my um, cutting tools. So we're going to go over here and oh, while I go get my tool, you guys have a look at that. Because I think we're going to do these. And I think we're going to do one of those. So we'll probably do some herbs. And then I want to make a hanging rack for herbs as well. Let me see if I can find my cutter. It's not in my toolbox. I'm going to try. And it's not in my toolbox. So let me put you guys on pause till I find that. Because I don't want you to wait forever on me. I'll be right back. Well... Okay, I found it. So, it says cut them um, half inch links. Well, I think that's going to be too big. No, well, maybe not. Half inch length at 45. That would be all the way down here. So we're going to go about a half inch. One, and then ninety, forty-five, and I'm guessing at this, ooh, that one's way too small, ooh, way too small. So on my other channel, which is Junk Journal Diva, I went today and got, we went yard sailing, and we found some of the coolest, coolest finds. That's three. We need two more. It's a lot of fun. We found at one yard sale, it was all you could all you could fit in a bag for three bucks, which was great for me because I use a lot of lace. Okay, there's two, three, four, there's five. I use a lot of lace, and that's what was particular. that was really what was there. Okay, so the rack is going to be one, not quite, it's going to be... 1360s, if I'm reading that correctly. We'll just make it three quarters by. I did lose one of my little guys. I'll have to cut another one soon. I lost one of my little things. I better move them out of the way or I'll lose them again and again and again. Okay, so it's going to be two inches by three and a quarter. All right, so we're going to measure three quarters, not three and a quarter, three quarters by two. And wouldn't you know, I don't have a pencil handy. That's not a pencil. Anyhow, books are something you use a lot, and we found a church that was doing a big sale, and when I say sale, I meant, they were there, I found that, they were giving, everything was free, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to go to three-fourths. 
by two inches. And so I told the lady what I intended to do with them and she said take as many as you like I would appreciate it all right so let me see if I could cut this so I took 16 books and I got it all but four so I got it 12 of them so once I'm through with this video then I'm going to start making signatures Okay, so basically the gist of this is now we're going to find something that punches holes. And mine would be my all. And I put away some tracing paper that I said I would probably never use. And now look at me. I found a use for it and can't find where I put it. Um, did I put it? I might have put it down here. Anyhow, actually, what I'll do is this. It's my book, what the heck. So you know you're going to do two and three quarters. And uh, I keep losing stuff. I just cut that. Isn't that awful? I just cut that cardboard, guys, and I can't find it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put this under here. Well, I guess I should do it here. So there's going to be one about right here. It's right in the middle. I try to line these up and do it without kind of in the middle. And then one kind of here. And then one kind of in the middle. And then one kind of here. And then one about there. That looks pretty good. Kind of even. Sort of even. So now what I'm going to do is very carefully finish poking these holes through here. Oops, that one was a little large. And then let me get my wood glue. Get my wood glue and glue those in and then we'll paint. Uh-huh. And this isn't the most fun part that we're gonna do today. Let me get my find my glue. That's super glue. I don't want super glue. Hold on guys. I have a huge Several huge containers of glue, and I only want one, and what do you know? I can't find it. Um, and if you don't have the dowels, toothpicks will work. I found the toothpicks while I was looking for the glue I don't have. Okay, well, guys, I'm just going to use tacky glue. It should work. And we'll get these glued in there. I only have four again. Here's the fifth one. These look too short. So, when in doubt, when in doubt, do it over. four, five. I suppose what I could do is be smart and cut them all at once. 
yuppers. That's what I'm going to do. Cut them at 90, straight across, and then we'll cut them at 45, all at the same time. Well, that's not going to work. Oh, I know what I can do. I can cut them all at 45. And then they're all pretty much the same length this time. Yeah. <laughs> How wonderful to show this. Okay, these are all the same. They're all at 45. And then we cut them all at 90. That's what I was, I knew I would figure it out. So we cut them all at 90. But we got to get them all the same. Well, here's another tip. When in doubt, tape. When in doubt, tape. Now I know they're all the same length, or so close, they'll have to be right. There's two, three, four, Five. We got it. And some some extras. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue all of them in here. And we're going to set this aside. And I'm going to pause. And when we come back, well, actually, I'm going to load this video. And when we come back, I will show you how to do the towels. These are going to go in at an angle. Okay. Actually. You're going to poke. Poke them in far enough to, you know what I mean, to go at an angle. I honestly don't think we would have needed to have even poked a hole in them. I'm missing one. This one needs to be like that. Look at that. So as long as they'll stand until they're glued, we're good there. That one needs to go at an angle. Ah. Ooh, that was close. Almost messed up. So, honestly, this isn't as easy as it looks. Okay, so when it hangs up, it'll hang at an angle. Can you see the angle? I think it should be okay. So, but because I am who I am, I keep messing with it until I really mess it up. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry. 
and when we come back we're going to be working on towels thanks for watching